Where is he? Where's he going? Oh. John. Deeper, Susan, deeper. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. Food busk is getting quite large, but my own masseur to shoots these days. Now, we're gonna do a sag paneer. This is an amazing sag paneer, but I'm doing a twist by using halloumi. Cut it into nice big chunks. So I'm using about 300 grams, which should feed about two people. Pan on. Teaspoon of ground nut oil. Get my halloumi and get it in there. What we're looking to do is we're looking to get those beautiful score marks for great presentation, but also it adds a lot of flavour. Right, love, salt. I'm just taking halloumi off. That's all my halloumi done. I'm going to put it to the side and get on with the sauce. Lightly fry off some diced onions. A good handful. So, they need to cook for about six or seven minutes, just keeping them moving, no colour. Get a teaspoon of cumin in. Oh, releasing that cumin, it already tells you this dish is going to have a lot of flavour. What I've just realised is, is that this is a curry which will not fit in that pan. So, it will fit in this pan, so I'm transferring pans. Boom. A teaspoon of garlic and a teaspoon of ginger. So in, teaspoon of garam masala and a teaspoon of turmeric. Tomato, cut it into quarters, cut through here and just take the seeds out. Just cut through. Fry the ginger and the garlic off and the spices for about a minute and then add your tomato. Cook this on a medium heat for about seven, eight minutes. I'm just going to get a tablespoon of water to put into that. It's going to just collect everything together and then we're going to reduce it down again. Mix all that in. 300 grams of spinach. Just add it all in. Lid on. Okay, so that's steaming in there. So we're just going to give it a stir every now and again. That's all wilting down in there now. Curry sauce that we've created has started to coat all that spinach. How delicious does that look? Introduce your paneer, or in my case, my halloumi in. 100 mils of cream. Get that mixed in. Look how delicious that's looking. A bit of salt, freshly cracked pepper. Keep mixing all those ingredients in. Vegetarian dish, but so tasty. It's good. Well, we're just gonna let that reduce down a bit more. It just gets creamier and stickier and more tasty. It's time to plate up. So, the bled. Naan bread, wet it with some water. I'm just going to put it on top. And the steam from the pan will start to heat up the naan bread. So we're just going to scoop up. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Just look at the colours on that. I mean, it's just so good. I've got some rose petals that I picked up. Just a few pumpkin seeds. I'm just going to scatter chip almonds. Coriander! I reckon that is 8.50. Let's take it to the streets of Primrose Hill Market and see what people will pay. Come on! Sag paneer. I'm the food busker. I cook on the street. People try my food and then they tell me what they think it's worth. Um. She's really thinking it through. It's, 12, it's coming. 12 95 12 95 Oh, right, one of those, OK. I like paneer, but I'm not sure. It's like, it's like it's a, an Indian dish. You want to try? There's some naan bread if you fancy it. A little bit salty for me, but... Too salty? But that's the cheese, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What would you pay for that whole plate? Four pounds? Oh. It's a street food dish, though. OK. Which is a six pound, six fifty. Oh, low blow, brother! Excuse me, sir. Would you like to try a sag paneer? What the hell is that? Don't you rob to ask my wife, she's injured. She's so Where is she? Yeah. No, 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 not me, no, no. Yeah, yeah, come on, you're on. Come on, come on. Come on. No, no. Come on, what's wrong with, no. No, come on. Then. Have you two had a bit of a? Okay, what are you saying? I think it's rather good, actually. Thank you. What would you pay? Depends where I'm sitting. Dry white wine is the best with, um, with Indian food, you see. I'll give you two options, right? That's very kind of you. Right. Okay, so if I'm at my club, I'd, uh, pay about 11 pounds, 12 pounds. Okay. 
but if it's in a plastic thing, I expect I paid about four pounds. Four pounds? I think I'm going to take the club option. <laughs> I, I, I lost there, but I just feel great. So, obviously, if I was uh, cooking in a restaurant today or at Jeffrey's Club, I would have done rather well. Happens that I was cooking on the street, so I've lost, haven't I? Anyway, Jeffrey was lovely. I'm going off to the club 